Hey everybody, we are back and today we have the Har Block box for January 2017. And this actually did come in last Saturday, but I was not here. I was up in Michigan freezing my butt off, um, seeing some family. So yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> so got this box about a week early, I would say, because usually they come about the second or third week of the next month. So I'm really, really excited that it actually showed up on time. I'm the one that's late with it. So January 2017 Har Block. Here we go. I'm glad I can say that now. It's 2017. Now I'm not behind anything anymore as far as I know. Just making videos. <laughs> this is what you see inside once you take all the plastic wrap off. And I still love these new boxes. I think, I don't like, I don't think I subscribed for February because I wasn't too keen on the theme. So I think for a little bit this might be my last horror block. I'm not for sure just yet. Um, I guess it all depends on what March's theme looks like. Um... I mean, I typically like to go by themes. I just don't see anything that grabs my attention for February. So, yeah. God, this thing stinks. It smells. There's got to be something smelly in here. It's going to drive me crazy if I don't find it. Which actually probably looks like this air freshener. Yeah, that's it. It's a scented pine air freshener. That'll definitely go in my car because they don't last very long in my car. But it is a... Friday the 13th Camp Crystal Lake air freshener. Smells like pine trees. So, that makes sense. But, yeah. I don't, not too fond of the smell, but since they don't seem to last very long in my car, I'm quite okay with the smell. So, all right, let's see. We have next a beanie, which is from Silence of the Lamb. I don't wear a lot of beanies, especially like this with the flap. Um, Definitely probably could have made that myself. It just looks like an iron-on patch stitched. But, I mean, it's really cool. But, again, I don't like these kind of beanies. I like the ones where I can just fold in the back. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird. Almost like a, a hippie beanie. Where it just kind of lays in the back and that's it. I don't like the foldy thing. But that's cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but... All right, next it looks like we have a Resident Evil 20th Anniversary Badge. Let's open that up and see what we have. I'll probably end up giving this one to my boyfriend because he loves Resident Evil. Okay, yeah, just a little, little badge there. Which really, I don't know why they folded it that way because it definitely is opened at one side, but whatever. And it is magnetized. It's a pretty good magnet, too. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Would go good if you wanted to cosplay as something. I guess. I've not seen anybody cosplay Resident Evil, so... I mean, I guess that would work. Oh, come on. Get back in the bag. Whatever. I don't care. It won't stay in the bag for long anyway. Alrighty, what do we have here? I don't know. We have a box inside of a box. Hopefully it's a pretty cool whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever's in the box, hopefully it's pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Now we have the box inside of a box open. Okay, it is a mason jar, and it says poison on it. It's kind of, kind of weird. Kind of random, too. Definitely, definitely could have washed before use. Well, I hope so. And it was made in China. Definitely could have made that myself. I'm really starting to... Lose interest, honestly, in the horror block right now. Or in nerd block in general. I mean, some of the items are good, but something like this I definitely could have made on my own. Um, just takes a little bit of time. 
but that's cool. I mean, I like it. All right, next we have a Jaws pin. So that's cool. It's got the little teeth marks in the life-saving buoy. I forget what that's actually called, the life-saving raft. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And then, of course, we have the Rue Morgue magazine, which is a little bit smaller this time. Usually they like, take up the whole bottom part of the box and they're difficult to get out of. This is actually fairly small. Again, I don't go through and read these. I usually use them as stuffers for giveaway boxes or for sale items. Other people usually like them, so I throw them in there. Alright, and then the second to last looks like we have... What was the theme? I don't remember seeing anything Friday the 13th. I think I remember seeing my Bloody Valentine, Silence of the Lamb, and just Resident Evil, which was the whole reason why I got this was for the Resident Evil item, which was kind of a bummer. It looks like we have, I guess this is from my Bloody Valentine, a signed Be Mine card for Valentine's Day. Which I guess would make a little bit of sense of putting it in January's box, not February, since Valentine's Day is only a few days away. And it comes with the Certificate of Authenticity for the signature. Eh, I guess that's cool. Would have been nice to have like an actual, maybe an actual Valentine's Day card. You open it up and there's like oh, one of those weird little origami fold-out hearts in it or something. I don't know. Something other than just a print. But, hey, whatever. Like I said, I think I'm going to give horror block and nerd block just a little bit of a break there. Maybe, maybe when I come back, they'll up their game just a little bit more. But this is a lot of items so far, so. Alright, and the last thing we have, here's a shirt punch coat if you'd like it for 10% off. Shirt punch. It is promo code best shirts. And it looks like this is a glow in the dark shirt. It is a Gildan Cop Gildan Cotton large. Of course I always get my shirts large because I like the way they fit at night. But I'm not for sure exactly what I guess it's a pirate with two eyes, two two eyeballs on each side. I don't know. It's kinda weird. But it glows in the dark. Um, might end up doing that as a giveaway or a sale item, depends on what we can do. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers so that I can do a giveaway, but I was really hoping, I was really hoping that if I hit 100 subscribers that I can do a con giveaway, but since I don't think I'm going to the Lexicon this year in March, I think that kind of just blew my shot of doing that one, so, um... Here is my $10 credit shirt punch nerd block code if anybody wants that. If it doesn't focus, I will definitely list that in the video description or in the description below after I edit. If you can get that, there you go. There you can have it. It's $10 credit to shirt punch nerd block. Or the NerdBlock, NerdBlock.com shop, and it expires February 28th. So, use that before the end of the month. And now they are doing what looks like a little pamphlet. Typically don't keep the pamphlets. So that's... Oh, somebody got to use their little wine cork. That's cute. I've got that. I bought it actually off Shirt Punch. Um, of course you got the Freddy's kids in it. Little scenes off of that. Love me some Freddy. Uh, do, 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 do. Of course you have the eight items from Horror Block, which I think... There were more items, I believe. I can't remember right off the top of my head because I throw the cards away half the time but I'm thinking that there were only usually like 
five or six items, maybe five. Four on one side of the card and one on the other, plus an exclusive. I don't know. Everything's an exclusive with these people. Um, you got the Valentine's Day card, which was an exclusive. The air freshener, of course, the t-shirts, the pen from Jaws, the poison glass mason jar, the Resident Evil police officer badge, which was a nerd block exclusive. And then you just had the Rumor magazine and the Silence of the Lamb beanie. So, I mean, you get a lot more, or this month we got a lot more, but some of the items were rather small. And of course they have, how do you display your nerd block or your collectibles? And then the advertisement for Shirt Punch and the nerd block shop, so. All in all, this one did miss this time with me. I was really excited for the Resident Evil item and also the My Bloody Valentine item, which both kind of came up a little short for me. This one was definitely a miss because of those two items that I really wanted. The Silence of the Lamb, I was kind of hoping for a shirt. Would have been nice um, instead of the pirate shirt because I really have no clue what kind of pirate shirt this is. Like, I don't know if it's from a movie or if it's just, hey, we have a pirate shirt, so let's just put it in there. So, this one was definitely a miss for me. And like I said, I think I'm going to give Nerd Block slash Horror Block a break and see what happens here in a couple months. I don't know. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below on what you thought of this box if you think I'm being a little too harsh I'm watching other videos not necessarily on this but on other nerd block videos it seems to be missing this month with a lot of their items so maybe I am being a little harsh I don't know but as a collector I know what I want I know what other people may want some of this some people might not want so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and leave a comment in the comment section below. I will post the pricing list for the horror block in the description box below, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!